Hello there, my name is Ismas. So we are, going, we are continuing with our series of how to make a palm tree in Blender 2.8. And uh, we left off <coughs> with uh, making this here. Uh, so we're continuing with, uh, with making the stem of this uh, palm tree and uh, texturing it. So modeling it is uh, very simple. Uh, so let's look at the texturing uh, mostly. <coughs> so this is the kind of texture we're going to make. You can see even when you zoom in, it doesn't lose uh, the resolution. It still looks high resolution. And uh, the way I was able to achieve this is by using very small images uh, with low resolution. I uh, saw so something, an image like this, like this. You can see they're all very low resolution images. But uh, I layered them on top of each other to get uh, what I want. So if we break down this material, you can see that uh, this is the node setup. Now we start with this image here. Then I can see from afar, you can see how repeating this uh, texture is because it's small. I had to scale it down so that I, yeah, I had to scale it down. And uh, that's why you see that uh, it becomes uh, repeating. And then I layered it with this image that from a distance you can start seeing our uh, seams and other artifacts uh, repeating over and over but uh, because i layer it with this texture uh, that repeating starts to break down and uh, you don't see it as much and uh, i also mixed it with this image here again you see from a distance you see the repeating uh, but when i layer it uh, with whatever I had from it from this you don't see that repeating anymore and uh, it looks high resolution at close-ups and I continued uh, to layer this with a different texture as you can see here uh, to to get uh, this here you can see it's nothing complicated uh, I just this and this I blended it using uh, the lighten blending mode so this this is this blending mode. You just get it under color, mix blend, uh, mix RGB, and change the blending mode to lighten. Uh, this will give you the same result, some the same results. And uh, I mixed the results uh, with this here. I'm uh, using again the lighten, uh, the lighten uh, uh, blending mode. Uh, the, 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 these two images we are using the same as texture coordinate, just to scale them down. Uh, to a good uh, resolution or a good size uh, same here uh, also added uh, texture coordinates uh, also UV unwrapped uh, this object and uh, so it was just layering uh, the different textures on top of each other you can see I blended the results from these two uh, with this and then uh, the results from this blend uh, with this here I, I multiply I use this time I used the multiply to blend uh, the results uh, and this is what we get as the final result and uh, uh, that is what I used as the base color and uh, for the roughness <coughs> I just added a color ramp uh, to get uh, this roughness map as you can see and uh, I reduced uh, the contrast a bit and also reduced but by default this is how it would look and uh, so I fed that into the roughness node to get uh, this here uh, if this is dark as it is, uh, the texture will look a bit wet and I didn't want that so I made this a bit lighter to reduce on the wetness of that texture. I think it was even lighter than that, something like that. Again from that, I didn't have a normal map. Uh, what I did is I fed uh, the results of this into a bump map to get uh, that converts images to normal maps and uh, this is the normal map it generated uh, that I fed into the normal map to get uh, this result so if I switch off if I take off uh, the color and the roughness you can see the normal map how the normal map looks so you just need to connect uh, the roughness back and the color back Actually, this is not it's from this node to 
have that. So I'll just mo copy this and uh, paste it directly here. So this would be would be our. I don't know how they're supposed to connect here, but uh, I guess maybe uh, around here at the top here, this should be a bit big to accommodate for that, for all those. So this shape is really easy to model. So that's why I'm not going to show you how to do that. Maybe I need to bend this also on the other side. So maybe turn on proportional editing and move this in the x-axis so when we go to shading uh, materials uh, this is what we get but I think uh, this texture doesn't ha should not go up to the top here it should fade somewhere around here because I think if I look at uh, reference images just look for palm trees. At the top, uh, the texture starts becoming a bit uh, greenish, as you can see around there. So it's not as rough as it is at the bottom here. And this is see for some it it actually goes all the way to the top with that roughness I think it's uh, different species uh, species uh, grow differently uh, but uh, for some images that, that I saw are uh, at around near to the end of the tree uh, or near to the end of the stem uh, this texture starts to fade into some green texture so let's try to mimic that and uh, we can do that using a gradient so I'll add a texture gradient then add a, a convert color ramp to control the gradient now if we preview this uh, we can see that our gradient is coming from this direction to this direction we want to we want it to face up, going up like that, so we can add a texture mapping. I'll rotate this, not sure which axis to rotate, but uh, let's experiment and see. So if I do 90 degrees, yeah, I think that's what we need. Now we can control this up to around there. So this will start become, this will become uh, the green part, and uh, this can remain uh, that blue part, that rough part. So this is going to be our mask uh, for our shader. So let me see what image was this. I don't know. So let's um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to create another shader. So I'll just duplicate this principal BS BSDF and add a color. Uh, sorry, a shader mix shader. So this is going to be the top shader mixed with our shader like that and uh, uh, the mask we have just created from the gradient is going to be our uh, it's going to be our mask for this shader so let's connect this uh, you can see how uh, this fades in but uh, it's inverted right now uh, this is supposed to be green so let's do make it Maybe not that dark. Like that. Uh, we need uh, this to be inverted, or we can just switch the direct uh, the, the shaders around. And uh, we can make uh, the contrast here a bit sharp. And uh, maybe we can use uh, the bump map or the normal map from this here up here as well.
yeah, I think that looks good. I also think uh, that uh, the leaves are a bit uh, a bit small, so let me scale down the stem. And uh, maybe I should be a bit. You should have some really big leaves. So we have our complete tree. So you just have to bake uh, this as well, so that you so that you have uh, the color map, roughness, and uh, normal map for this. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you want this uh, this tree, you can find it on my Patreon page, and uh, yeah, as a way to support the channel and uh, enable me to continue making these uh, tutorials. So thank you.